started, you want to unfold your fabric like so. Make sure the print is face down. And you position your book about two inches from the bottom and about two inches from the top. And then cut away the extra fabric. Once you cut away all the excess fabric, you want to make sure you have one to two inches on all sides of the book. When decoupaging with my books, I always start with the spine first. Go ahead and grab your decoupage, pour it on a plate next to you, generous amount to get us started. Dap some decoupage on the spine, brushing back and forth, trying not to leave any clumps because with cotton fabric, it's very thin and it will seep through. Make sure you're leaving an inch to two inches from the top and the bottom. And slowly press back and forth on the spine of your book so that glue adheres to the fabric. Next, we're gonna decoupage the front of the book. Grab your decoupage and you can start with a genus or mount. Pour it in the center of the book and then just start to spread it out as even as you can. Your main goal is to avoid any large clumps. Spread it all out as best as you can and get down into those nooks and crannies. You want the fabric to stick on every part of the book. As soon as you got the decoupage as even as you can, fold over the fabric, turn the book with the spine facing you, and start pressing from the bottom outwards. This will eliminate any wrinkles. Now some might be a little stubborn, but all you have to do is press and smooth, press and smooth, until your book looks the way you want it to. Once your fabric is nice and smooth on the top cover, we're gonna flip it around and do the same exact process on the other side. Start with a generous amount of decoupage in the center of your book and spread it out as even as you can. Fold your fabric over your book, start from the center, and press outwards to get rid of any and all wrinkles. Now, I have a lot more than two inches on one side of my book, so I am just gonna cut away the extra material, still leaving one to two inches on both sides of my book. Take this time to examine your book for any bubbles or wrinkles. Now's the time to smooth them out while the book is still damp. Next, you wanna grab your scissors and cut two slits along the width of the spine on the top portion of the book and the bottom portion of the book. Sometimes it is easier to open your book especially if you're doing one-handed, to make sure your slit is wide enough. Repeat this on the bottom portion of the book. Two slits, the width of the spine. Next, cut a right triangle along each slit that you just made. Try not to go all the way down to the book. After you finish cutting away all your right triangles, you should be left with two tails on your book. Next, grab your decoupage and open up your book to the back.
put some decoupage in the bottom corner and the top corner. Grab your bottom corner and bring it up to your book, creating another right angle triangle. Throw a little decoupage on top of that flap. Do the same for the top. Grab the corner, pull it down until you see the right triangle. Apply decoupage on that corner. Continue to put decoupage down at the bottom of the book and in the crease. Then take that bottom flap, lift your book, and slowly fold the fabric down over the book. Once the fabric is folded down, put some decoupage on it. Repeat this for the top flap. Apply decoupage to the book, down in the crease, on the fabric, and slowly roll the fabric from the bottom onto the book. Closing your book slightly will help you get the fabric down into that crease. Then continue to decoupage the side of the book. Here's where it comes in handy to have a small sturdy object. Here I'm using a glass water bottle full of water. This step's so much easier to do with two hands. Fold and press up. Apply generously with decoupage onto that inner book cover. After this process is done, then close your book. Gently press down and turn your book over and repeat these same steps. Open your book to the back cover, decoupage the bottom corner and the top corner, pull your corners into right angle triangles, decoupaging the corners, decoupage the bottom, especially down in the crease, and roll your fabric up and press down. Same for the top. Decoupage, then roll down and press. Position your book against a sturdy object and finish with the side of the book. After you folded your last flap, press, add a generous amount of decoupage, and then close your book, pressing firmly. Next, we're gonna work on the tails. I usually trim mine down until they're about an inch long. Grab your popsicle stick and place between the binding and the pages. Normally there's a space down in there, but sometimes it needs a little help. Fold your flap over and press down into that open space. Sometimes this is easier, sometimes it takes some patience. Repeat on the bottom flap. And there you go. You've created a beautiful decoupage fabric cover for your book.